Yo, what's going on guys? Christy Flakes here, and for this video, we are going to see what would happen if the NBA on TNT Analysis crew were all on the same team in the NBA, man. And you, you all know about this crew right here, man. If you ever watch an NBA game on TNT, these guys do like the pregame, the halftime show. We got like Shaq and Kenny the Jeff Smith and Charles Barkley and tons of other great dudes that are just really funny. And I'll really bring a certain aspect to the game, to the entertainment business when it comes to pro sports. In my opinion, the best uh, the best crew in all of sports. That's just me, though. So looking at our roster here, man, we got everybody, man. We got These are any players that have been affiliated with the TNT crew. Um, maybe they're not consistently on there, but they've been on there before, or they're guests, or maybe they do, like, the uh, sideline broadcasting stuff, just things like that. So number one, we have the Big Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. Um, newer to the team in the past few years since he retired from the NBA, he joined this crew right here, and uh, he's just so funny, man. Shaq is definitely an entertainer. Um, and also one of the best basketball players to ever play the game. Then we got round mound and rebound Charles Barkley looking good in that Phoenix number 34. We got Reggie Miller the killer out there, man. Um, <laughs> that's uh, I don't know if that really looks like Reggie Miller all that much, but hey, he can hit if he, as long as he can hit three pointers. I don't care what he looks like. Then we got one of my favorite players of all time, C Webb, Chris Weber. We got Kevin McHale, Isaiah Thomas. We got Grant Hill. We have Kenny the Jeff Smith. We have Dennis Scott. We have Craig Sager out there, man. <laughs> Age 40, 75 overall. <laughs> we got Ernie Johnson Jr. out here. Oh, damn, Ernie. <laughs> we got Steve Kerr, who, uh, you know, was actually on the crew before he went to go coach the Golden State Warriors. I imagine if he were ever to retire, he would come back to this crew right here. Um, and then we just have, okay, this was supposed to be Kobe Bryant, but at the making of this video... It was said that Kobe Bryant declined a contract with TNT, so I traded him for Guy uh, Panini, mainly because I like sandwiches. You know, Panini sandwiches. How many, you, you all thought I was going to say I like guys, don't you? You all thought I was going to say that. Don't be savages. I like Panini sandwiches. Then we got Kwame Brown and Darko Milchich because we need some fillers out there <laughs> because uh, there's not a ton of people on the crew. Although, if Kwame and Darko want to join, I would watch. Um, just don't let them anywhere near basketball. So, I'm thinking for the lineup right here. I mean, we definitely have to do the best players available to really do the best out here. So, I think Isaiah Thomas, Reggie Miller, Grant Hill, Charles Barkley, Shaquille O'Neal, and C Webb, Kevin McHale, uh, Kenny Jeff Smith, Dennis Scott, Sager, give him some minutes out there. Ernie <laughs> Johnson, give him a few minutes. And, uh, you know, Steve Kerr's is busy coach and having a bad haircut, so he doesn't really need to play all that much. Um, I'm going to switch out. Oh, no, no, no. Let's, let's get the going here. Calling Kwame Brown for sure. Kwame Brown for sure, man. Moral support off the bench. I don't want Dark with the damn games. So, um, by the way, guys, be sure to like this video and leave me your other scenario suggestions in the comment section below, other things you want to see. Um, maybe I should have done this as, as like an 82-0 challenge because I could definitely see this team getting pretty far. Maybe not 82-0, but uh, I'm definitely going to win the championship with this team. So simulate through date, see how this team does. Um, I expect Shaq to be the leader out there. Pro well, I wasn't saying rebounds, but you do got Charles Barkley out there, man. That's just like, that's so deadly. Can you imagine a Shaq and... Uh, Charles Barkley, like, one of the same team, like, back in the day, man, like, that would have been insane. I don't know really what the age difference is. They're probably not too much. And actually, our team is not, I mean, we're not doing bad, but we're not doing, like, great. We got, like, all these 90s out there. We got all these Hall of Famers, superstars, few, uh, few superstars out there that don't exactly have a ring, Charles Barkley and Reggie Miller, and a few that have enough to go around for everybody, Shaquille O'Neal. Um... Oh, we are first in the conference. Okay, we're kind of fluctuating between, like, first and second in the division conference. But, uh, I don't know, man. Like, I don't see anybody beating this team. Like, who's going to beat a team? Like, this is, like, the dream, dream, dream team right here, man, of NBA crews, if that makes sense. Um, but let me know in the comment section below, guys. What's your favorite NBA on TNT moment, man? I, mean, I just YouTube some of this stuff sometimes. <laughs> and some of the funny stuff that goes on with it, man. Um, of course, Shaq to the Fool is always a good segment. <laughs> Anytime, uh... You know, Charles Barkley making fun of somebody's weight or somebody's going to be making fun of Charles Barkley saying he's fat or something like that. It's always, you know, good fun in games. I remember a few years ago, they uh, they, they challenged uh, Charles Barkley to have, like, a, a race with, I forgot what the referee is. I can't believe it's not coming to my mind. Dude was, like, a referee for, like, 40 years. They had a race during, like, All-Star Weekend. That was pretty funny. Um, and then a lot of other, you know, funny stuff going on. There. I actually don't have cable right now, so I don't actually get to watch a lot of TNT um, but man, I catch it on YouTube. <laughs> Some funny stuff going on there. So happy that Shaq decided decide to join the crew. Um, I'm looking at a picture, man, of all four of the main guys out there. You know, like the main guys. And um, I, I, I can't I can't really see where Kobe would fit at. I mean, I think Kobe would be funny and everything. But you got Shaq, you got Ernie, you got Kenny, you got Charles. 
Do you throw Kobe like in the middle? I mean, the five seems like a little bit too much. I, I feel like these four guys have a good, uh, good chemistry together, man. Actually, corner 2K, they got 96% chemistry, which is pretty good. But uh, I, I feel like these guys is like, you can't really replace any of them because they all have their own characteristics and their own personality that they bring to this crew. And it just really meshes well together. Um, but look at the record right here, man. We finished 72-10. Uh, and 10, So, not quite that Golden State Warriors record, which just goes to show you how amazing that record really is. But still pretty damn good. And uh, Kevin Durant, MVP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this stuff's pretty much the same. Um, I don't know, uh, Shaquille O'Neal made the All-NBA second, so I guess that's pretty good. And, uh, wow, that's, a, that's it, man. That's it for any of the Suns making any kind of teams. You got Shaq on the All-Defensive second team. That's pretty good. Um, but let's go ahead and check out these stats here real quick. Player stats. Isaiah Thomas. And, and I kind of expected this because I pretty much balanced out the minutes pretty good. Um, I expect a lot of good balance scoring out there. You know, nobody really taking too many shots not really getting too crispy out there. Just everybody playing as a team and really using that chemistry to their advantage. Um, so Isaiah Thomas, Charles Barkley, well, Charles Barkley actually 15.2 and 10.4, like, it's beastie out there. Um, so I actually play better than Shaq, which is, uh, I'm not gonna say surprising, because Charles Barkley definitely was a great player. Uh, Reggie Miller, 14.1, let's see how he was shooting from three ball out there. Uh, 43%, so that's pretty good out there. My boy C-Web, um, 0.7 assists, you know, he's actually a pretty good passing big man, so I'd actually expect it to be more up in real life. Assuming this was real life, and assuming you could do time travel and make all these guys on the same team. Um, Craig Sager out there, man, rocking, you know. I mean, Craig, yo, I'm, so for, for, one, for one thing, I gotta say, man, most respect to Craig Sager. Um, for getting, you know, having that sickness and really uh, fighting through it, man. Like, not only is he just a great analysis, but he's also a great person. And being able to fight through all that, it's most respect out there. And I, I know he doesn't exactly rock the nicest suits all the time, but, uh, man... The game of basketball will not be the same without him. And then we got uh, Dennis Scott did pretty good. Uh, Ernie Johnson Jr. <laughs> he got himself three points out there. So, most respect to Ernie Johnson. <laughs> Dang, dude, dude shot 42% for three. He shot one three all season. <laughs> but he still, he still made it. So, that's all good. Um, let's go ahead and simulate these playoffs here. We're first in the division and the conference. So, I imagine we'll probably win the uh, championship here. We better. If we lose to the Thunder, I'm, it's game over. I'm smashing my PlayStation. You'll never hear from me again, man. Simulate current round. All right. And we sweep them. And, of course, the Thunder move on. All right. Simulate current round. And we sweep them again, man. We got the Thunder. I swear to... My, my Pistons are in the Eastern Conference Finals. Much respect, man. Um, Man, we if we lose this... <laughs> oh, you swept your ass, KD. <laughs> Let's go. And now we got the Cleveland Cavaliers in the Finals. Simulate current round, and we sweep them too, man. What an amazing series! What an amazing team out there. Uh, but we all know that this would never really happen, and we are just we, we should all feel honored to be able to have this great crew and uh, just be able to watch them, you know, make the game of basketball so much better. Looking at playoff stats here, real quick, uh, pretty much the same, you know, balance scoring all around. Charles Barkley, Beast, and Shaq, Beast, and everybody, Beast, and out there. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'd really do appreciate all the support as of late. And peace out, my friends.